Hey guys, Majeffries here, and welcome to episode 110 of You Don't Win Anything with Kids. Uh, last episode, if I go on the fixtures list here, we played Forest Green and we won 2 0. That was in the Johnston's Paint Trophy South Final Leg 2. Now, uh, we have a home game against Shrewsbury in League 2, but between those two matches, we had a, an away match against Walsall, which we won 2 0, with goals from Campbell and Wilson. And we had a match against Bristol Rovers where we won 2-1 with goal, two goals from Campbell. First of which was in the 5th minute and the second of which was in the 95th minute. Um, to describe an exciting ending, you know, Aguero's goal against QPR, it was that kind of level of excitement when that ball went in. Because uh, they Bristol Rovers equalised in the 89th minute and I thought, well that's it, it's a one-all draw. But then Campbell got played through a brilliant through ball from Johnston. And just slotted it into the far corner. It was a fantastic finish. Um, and I'm sure our fans were very, very happy. Uh, like I said, we've got a match now against Shrewsbury. So if I go back, there it is. As if by magic. Okay. Lineups. We have got quite a few players missing. Um, but, luckily, I anticipated this. Uh, we've got King, who can play in goal. And we've got Rush, who can go on the bench, so I'm going to put him there now. Uh, we're missing Via and Klopmas, but we've got Hutchinson, so we'll put him on uh, right back. Uh, we're also missing Jones and Cartwright, but we have got Warnock. And to be fair to him, his performances have picked up recently, so uh, I don't feel as bad slotting him in at left back. Centre-backs, we have, of course, got David Stevens, and we've got Jamal Howlett-Mundell, who has turned out to be a very, very good signing for us. Uh, midfield, we are missing um, Delamond, but we have got McGregor back from injury, so we'll put him in on the left-hand side. And, of course, we have Mantum. Uh, we even have Douglas Pringle, who hasn't played for us for a very long time, um, and I think that's actually affecting his development. So, I think we'll put him in on the right-hand side. Advanced midfield. Um, I want to play Johnston through the middle and I want to play uh, who, can, who can we have down the left because Beckhold's still injured so I think we'll have Tomlin down the left and um, hmm no not Hutchinson we can't play Grant so let's have Emmanuel Thomas down the right and then up front, of course, we are going to have Campbell. And now it's a case of completing our bench. So, we will have Robinson. We will have Yanaris. And I hope we have no injuries to our left back, because we haven't got any others. Um, we will have Mantum. We will have uh, Bobo. Uh, we will have Lawrence. And we will have Vukic. So there we go. That's our lineup for Shrewsbury. Let's play ball. Uh, so we're looking for a repeat performance. Preferably not the 2 1 win against Bristol, more the 2 0 win against Walsall is what I'm looking for in this match because it was a convincing victory, even though the scoreline might not suggest so. Uh, stats wise, we completely bossed the game. Um, we just didn't quite get enough shots on target, which was a little bit frustrating. But like I said, we won the game. And we, we stifled Walsall out of it. So, overall, it wasn't such a bad performance. Um, if you look at the table, you can see we still have a game in hand, and yet we are 12 points clear at the top. Uh, so, this is definitely a very, very, very good season for us. We have uh, exceeded my expectations, and in fact, we've exceeded my expectations in this match, because Philip Johnston has put us 1-0 up inside the second minute. Uh, very, very good finish. Maybe the keeper could have done a little bit more to keep that one out. You see, he started the move there, actually. He passed it out wide to Warnock, who delivered it back across to the front post, and there was Johnston. And that was a very good ball from Warnock, and I said about how he picked his performances up. Um, and there you go, he's proved it straight away. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, this has turned out to be a very, very good season for us, uh, as Tomlin makes it 2-0. With... Uh, to be honest, that should have been Emmanuel Thomas's goal. I don't know how he missed from there. Hit the post. Um, but yeah, Tomlin was there to follow up. And this is a very, very good season for us. We've we've dominated in the transfer market. We've dominated in the league. 
uh, cup competitions. We went quite a long way in the FA Cup for a League 2 team. And of course we've reached the final of the JPT. And I believe we go into that final as favourites to win as well. Which doesn't happen too often. Um, well, I'll say that. It doesn't happen too often that a League 2 team is the favourite to win. That's what I meant to say. Uh, and now we're 2-0 up in this match. Which puts us 14 points clear at the top of the table. And we're only... What, five, six minutes into the match? Yeah, six minutes in. Well, five and a bit, coming up to six. Um, and that was Shrewsbury's first shot, which was deflected behind for a corner. Uh, they will take this corner. It's delivered up and over the bar and out for a goal kick. So, yeah, this, this match is definitely playing into our hands. Possession-wise, we're actually lacking. We're 41% at the moment, which is not the best. Uh, it's come up to 50-50 now as McGregor receives that square ball from Tomlin. He knocks it back to Tomlin, who should get a decent ball in here, hopefully. Pulls it back to Douglas Pringle, takes a shot just over the bar. Um, but yeah, the Majefries Arena is very much rocking at the moment. We've got the team at the top of the table. The money is starting to roll in from uh, outside ventures, which is helpful. The chairman is injecting less and less money into the club at the moment, uh, mainly for that reason. Not so much that he's lost interest just yet, although that fear always does sit in the back of my mind as to... What would happen if Monty Moneybags pulls out, or even worse, sells the club? Uh, would the new owner be willing to put as much money in? Who knows? Hopefully that's a problem that we don't have to encounter for a long, long time yet. Uh, for now though, see he's put his millions in. We've bought players like Campbell and Emmanuel Thomas. And they've really helped us push on. Because we were talking about strengthening the team. And we have done that exactly in the attacking department as the as mentioned Campbell makes it 3-0 in the 16th minute very very good finish as well good ball in from Emmanuel Thomas see Campbell here was struggling to hold on to the ball but it came through from Emmanuel Thomas great little ball there to Campbell and a tidy tidy finish into the bottom corner there to make it three very very well played from him um, and we are absolutely cruising if you look at our goal difference plus 53 which at any stage of the season you know, it could be two weeks after the season's finished and plus 53 would be a, a goal difference that's talked about for a long, long time. And yet here we are with 13 matches still to play after this one and we've reached that target already. Of course it could slip. We could end up with a goal difference of plus one. But I can't see that happening at this stage. Um, considering we're, we're playing a very fringe team at the back with Hutchinson uh, and Warnock playing the wing-back roles and of course King in goal. Uh, and even our midfield, McGregor and Douglas Pringle aren't necessarily our first choice pairing in the centre there nor are Tomlin and Emmanuel Thomas our first choice wingers and yet we're controlling the game very very nicely see Tomlin tracking back there to win that one and he should find Hutchinson and does Hutchinson could potentially knock it back to Tomlin he's holding on to it which always worries me Tucks it inside Stevens, along to Douglas Pringle. Now it goes out wide to Tomlin. So there we go. Very well played there from the boys. And Campbell knocks it along for Johnston. Very nearly didn't get onto the end of that, but just managed to stretch his leg out. And that's a great ball back through for Campbell. Just put it wide. Unlucky at the end there. Very, very good run from him though. Um, I'm just really proud of how my team are playing at the moment. Uh, I'm sure you guys are enjoying watching these matches as well. We're just we're constructing really well organised attacks. Most of them end up with a shot, whether the shot's on target or not. Yeah, I'd like to see a few more on target, but the fact that we're still making shooting chances um, and the quality of goals as well. You see the the one from Johnson at the start and Campbell's goal, both very well constructed goals. Tomlin's was a little lucky, and I don't really like rebound goals like that. Although I do score a lot of them. But that should have been Emmanuel Thomas's goal, and it would have looked a lot better. Unfortunately for him, it came off the post, and Tomlin was there to, to tap in the rebound. So, uh, you know, a goal's a goal, and I can't really complain, but it's not the kind of goal that I like to score. Uh, right, Taylor, with the ball for Shrewsbury running down the wing. Warnock's given him a lot of space there, and in fact, King has done a really bad job of keeping that one out. Luckily, I think that was Stevens who got underneath it and managed to head it behind for a corner. That was, that was the bad side of our defensive nature, I think. We just sort of let that one go. Warnock should have been a lot closer to Taylor. He seemed quite happy just to stand off and let him cross the ball, which I don't like to see at all. Um, luckily, that 
cross there from Taylor goes out for a goal kick and it gives us a chance to regroup and reorganise. Um, Douglas Pringle is looking a little bit jaded and apparently Tomlin's picked up a knock. So I'd have to, to keep an eye on those two. But even McGregor's looking tired. So we might have to swap both of our centre midfielders in the second half. But it is half time now. Warnock has not responded well to the team talk. So uh, I don't really know what to do with him. However, he has got our third highest rating, fourth highest rating of the team. So, you know, he, he's having probably one of his better games for us out there today. Um, I used to really like him as a left back, especially when he played for Villa. I thought he played well for Villa. Uh, in fact, even for Blackburn, he did okay. But, I don't know, him in real life, he's really slipped up in his performances. I think he's at Leeds now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in fact, he might be on loan somewhere from Leeds. And he made a wrong career move. He started off well at Villa, but he, he fell out of favour. Um, and that's always the danger when you make a move like that. It never really worked out for him. Um, and it's, un it's sad, really. It's unfortunate, because... He could have been one of England's best left-backs if he'd just stuck with it, but he sort of lost his focus and lost his way. Uh, and now he's playing for us in League Two. And uh, That's a warning for you kids out there. Don't don't screw up your football career because you could end up dropping down a long, long way just to find first team in football. Um, but he's doing okay for us in this game. And I'm looking at the clock and I am going to make a sub. And I'm going to bring Mantum on and I'm going to bring McGregor off. Uh, and I'm also going to bring on Lawrence for Johnston. There we go. We'll see what, what difference those changes makes. Uh, Tom Lawrence as well. He's one who I rated quite highly when he first signed for us. More recently, he, his performances have really slipped. Um, I'd like to see that change because he had a good start for us. He's, I think he scored his first match for us or second match for us. He had a really good start, hit the ground running. Uh, and again, he lost his way. So, uh, at the moment, I've talked about having a clear out at the end of the season. And unfortunately for him, he is one of the players who is in danger of, of being shown the door. Um, but I really want him to prove me wrong. I want him to, to step up his performances and become one of our best players again. Sadly, he's not going to get the chance in this match because that is full time. Emmanuel Thomas is one of our standout players. But it's in fact Stephen Warnock who is one man of the match. 8.3 match rating. Seconded only by uh, Howlett Mundell, who got 7.9. So he was a long way in front in terms of performance levels. Uh, and actually, I'm, I'm pleased for him. I'm glad he, he got that. Because I think he, like I said, he was a really good left back back in the day. And I really do believe he deserves a, a second crack at it. Uh, if we keep him on at the end of the season, then he'll get a crack in League One. And maybe even in the Championship if we get promoted again. Uh, but that is for another time, guys. So... Until then, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.